He was Woodland Hills tight end Josh Rawlings. Um, it's, it's an important time of year as we go around the Whitfield talking to recruits and an important part of the recruiting process as juniors um, really get uh, to the meat of things with coaches coming to visit and the recruiting process uh, really in full swing, offers going everywhere. What's it like for you at, at this time of year right now? Uh, to be honest, it's kind of hectic. You know what I mean? I'm getting pulled out of class a lot. Uh, it's hard to focus a little bit, I would say, but, you know, it's – it's a blessing to be in this position that I'm in. You know what I mean? So, you know, you're here to school, as we can see the names and the, and the pictures on the wall behind you, has a lot of experience going through this process. A lot of players that have, have been recruited, been drafted from out of the school, players that you probably know. You know, your coach obviously has that experience too. How have you been able to lean on that experience to, to help you through this process? Uh, yes, sir. Um, it's been kind of hard to take all of it in, so I just lean on these players that have uh, – already gone through the process, you know what I mean? Like how Miles just got drafted. Uh, I asked Coach Tim if I'd be able to reach out to him for some advice because I know he went through the process as well, and he's closer in age to me, so he'd be able to – he's a good source of information to go through. What has been something that's been unexpected about the way things have gone? Was, was there something that it really hit you like, oh, I, I never saw that coming? Uh, I don't really – I don't really know. You know what I mean? Was there a moment that you that it kind of became real where like it was like, oh, oh, this coach just called me that I've been yeah. watching on TV for years or something like that? Uh, Ohio State came in the other day, and uh, when he came in, Coach Tim texted me because he always texts me when I, once we come down, when coach is here. He texted me like, hey, come down to the athletic office. Ohio State's here. And when I read that, like, I stopped. I had to reread it again. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Ohio State's here to see me, you know, that really uh, made it kind of surreal, you know what I mean? Because when you're going through this process, you really don't understand the gravity of what's actually happened. You just, like, have to take it all in at once. And But when Ohio State was here, that was like, wow, it just made it unreal for a second. It was wild. What is kind of the way you'd like this to play out from here? What, what kind of the thought process when you're thinking about camps and visits and things like that for this summer? Uh, this summer, I plan to take one official visit to Virginia, and then I don't know what other official visits I want to take, but I definitely want to get on many different campuses because right now, I don't really know where I stand recruiting-wise, but I do want to commit before the my, junior, my senior season begins. What are you kind of looking for when it comes to a school? Is it a lot about academics? Is it a lot about how you fit on the football team? A little bit of both? A little bit of both, but academics are the big thing, you know what I mean? My mom's a school teacher, you know what I mean? So uh, academics are really big on my list. And another thing is what their interest is in me, you know what I mean? How I interact with the coaches. Uh, coaching staff, I'm going to be there for the next four to five years. How I interact with the coaching staff is going to be everything, you know what I mean? It has to be – I feel I have to feel at home. That's the big thing. Obviously, Pitt has been interested in you, and you got an offer from them. What have you seen from the Pitt coaching staff? What has your interactions with them been like so far? Uh, it's been all love, you know what I mean? I can just go down to the facility. They know me by first name, you know. I walk in, like, hey, Josh, what's up? And I just love the coaching staff. I'm not going to lie. They're so humble. They show love all the time. And I don't know. It's just something about them that I gravitate to. What are you focused on, you know, outside of the recruiting process right now, whether it's, you know, academics, whether it's the weight room, whether it's looking at film from your last year, what, what else is going on in your life right now? Uh, definitely my schoolwork, you know, it's really easy to get caught up in all of the recruiting, so I definitely have to uh, focus on my schoolwork just to end my junior year in school off right, so then I can just, focus in the summer, I can focus on more football things. What kind of feedback are you getting from the coaches on your game? What 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 are people saying that they like about Josh Rollins the player, and and what are what areas are you saying they telling you would like to see improvement in? Uh, they like my size, they like that a lot, and they love the way I, I block and the way I can put my hand down and drive off the ball, and they like the way I can catch. But I think the main thing that I can improve on is my route running and my speed. I know. There's a lot of schools that use tight ends in different ways. Is that something that you're you're looking at? Do you feel like you fit more in an offense where you know you would be flexed out some, or used primarily as a pass catcher, or do you enjoy the the blocking part of it? And you want to you want to get your hand down and, and and hit people. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy blocking. Like a lot of tight ends have a problem with with it, but 
I, I find my pride in it because, you know, like any tight end can go catch five, 50 passes a year. But I feel like what makes me different is that I can put my hand in the ground and uh, hold my own on the line with all the rest of the offensive line. Yeah, 87 up there. I'm sure yeah. that's been a, uh, a source of comparison for you uh, over time. How much uh, do you look at a guy like that, probably the most dominant tight end, in the last 10, 15 years in the NFL, why don't you look at a guy like that and try to take uh, some parts of his game? All the time. You know, uh, for the longest time, I didn't really know that Gronk went to school here. So when I found that out, I'm like, wow, uh, <laughs> I have a lot to work up to, you know what I mean? And just from he, him coming from here and being the most dominant tight end, that means a lot to me because I feel as though that he made a path for me and I can uh, look at, Look to him as a blueprint for my game as well.